Have you ever imagined about interstellar travel? I guess most of you have dreamed about it sometimes. However, this is unachievable with current technology. The distance from Earth to the nearest star is about 4 light years, which means even if you travel at speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, it will take a whole 8 years for a round trip. Could you imagine take a tenth of your life for just a trip? Most of you have heard about Einstein's special relativity and one of his statements that the fastest speed in the universe is the speed of light, and nothing can travel faster than that, which will significantly limit the possibility for interstellar travel. What I'm gonna tell you here is this is right, but not exactly right. But before that, let me mention another frustration from special relativity which is that the faster you travel, the slower your time will run. Imagine that a family is staying on Earth, and you are taking a round trip at 90% speed of light, to a far planet about 20 light years away. You will only age by 15 years, but your family will age by 40 years, and your kids will become older than you. Isn't that so ridiculous? But luckily, from the same person who proposed these desperations, Einstein also offered the possible solution within his general relativity. In 1994, the Grand Algebra has deduced a new way for interstellar travel from general relativity, which is analogous to the rep drive appeared usually in science fiction and usually be referred as algebraic drive. How the algebraic drive works is that it causes the spacetime behind the spacecraft to expand and the spacetime in front of to contract. In doing so, the region itself, which the spacecraft occupies, will appear to be moving to observe outside this region, just like a ball expand behind you will push you to move. And the exciting part is that speed of this moving region is not restricted by special relativity and speed of light. As long as the spacecraft is traveling slower than the speed of light in this region, it can move at any arbitrary large speed. That means, in theory, you can reach any destination instantaneously. And your time will flow identical in this region to your family on Earth, so no suffering between family as usual in special relativity. Isn't that fascinating? However, although this sounds fantastic, some fatal problem exists. Despite the few which have got a partial theoretical solution, there are three main problems remain unsolved. First, algebraic drive required an incredibly large amount of energy to create a such a rep region. Although it has been reduced from more than the whole universe to the size of Jupiter, it is still an inaccessible amount to us. The second is that to create such a region, we would need negative energy. Although according to quantum theory, we can access negative energy from vacuum. But larger the energy, shorter it could exist. Therefore, it is not possible for now to obtain such large amount of negative energy. The third, which is the most critical problem, is that we have no idea how to modify space-time. One possible solution proposed is that electromagnetism might also curve space-time, however much much weaker than the usual electric and magnetic effect, which would require a continuous accumulation up to 200 days to reach the same magnitude of effect as the gravitational wave we detected. Unfortunately, such an experiment has not been conducted yet. Therefore, it remains unknown if electromagnetism could actually curve space-time as mass do. Although algebraic drive is still far from success theoretically, and even further practically, it remains an attractive and fascinating area of research. If it is realized one day, you will have a whole new range of destinations for visiting. Astronomers could verify many hypotheses through field investigations, and physicists could also have more possibility to conduct currently impossible experiments.